Hey everyone, it's uh, Mike with Big Air Photo and Film. Hey everyone, today I'm here at a local park here on Pinellas Point. I'm just kind of uh, kind of going along the shoreline, kind of doing a little freestyle recon today. Just kind of, we've had uh, Hurricane uh, Sally just pass to the west of us just in the last 24 hours. So that typically will bring up some, you know, some unstable weather, which could, you know, bring some cool light conditions. So I thought today I would maybe go to uh, get, get off the water a little bit and go back and uh, get back into the jungle area a little bit and get in the woodlands and towards dark and stuff like that and see if I can't get something today because uh, the light's been kind of pushing on and off all day. So uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, everybody, I'll talk to you soon. All right, everybody, have a good one. Hey everyone, you know when I'm back here a lot too, um, a lot of times the, the scenes can be a little overwhelming with all the, you know, especially here in the jungle with all the different branches and all the vines and all that kind of just moving all about. So typically, I mean, unless I have something really interesting, I won't really use too wide of a lens. So I try to compress an image as much as I can here when, you know, so I use the 18 to, to 55 right now, but uh, I try to compress as much of the image as I can. That way I can kind of draw, you know, what I want to be detailed and then I can kind of you know kind of dismiss the stuff that doesn't need to be there so like on this first shot I'm just kind of setting up on some ferns here and I'm just playing with my aperture so I'm just kind of going I'm just kind of you know letting the focus you know trail from the beginning of the tip to the mid mid center there and I'm just kind of you know sh shifting it back and forth and that way I give me a different you know variety of different lighting conditions is also as I, I bracket every shot as well and I'll just kind of take a series of there and just kind of see what I kind of like there and maybe kind of see from there what I can get here in the end. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Here you go. Peace out. Hey everyone, um, and here's a, here's another shot that I uh, set up here on. I was kind of lucky, it's been a little bit brutal here, so I got a chance to change my shirt quick and uh, kind of come back down and kind of the sun's popping out, so I thought I'd try to run down here. There, I saw a little water feature when I walked in, so I thought that uh, i just try to see if I can just kind of, you know, take a little piece of it, because I realized really quick that it's, the canopy's so thick here that there's no way that I'm gonna be able to shoot a single super wide shot with, with all that action going on with all the vines and all that. So I thought I would just kind of, you know, bring it in a little bit closer and, uh, and just kind of focus on little, you know, pieces, little these little palms and stuff like that. All right, everybody. So that's where I'm at today. All right, everybody. I'll keep going. All right. I hope everyone's doing well. All right. Peace out.
you know, people ask me, well, Mike, how does this help you with your PTSD, you know, of taking pictures and running around, you know, how does that help? Well, I'll tell you one thing, I'm not at home sitting there drinking beer on the couch like I used to be. That in itself was a game changer, all right? So. Hey everyone, just to kind of summarize today a little bit, just to kind of kind of go over what we what I did this afternoon or something. I uh, just did a little freestyle, did a little recon, doing a little jungle woodland photography. And when I say uh, freestyle, I mean just uh, just kind of going there with really no expectations, just kind of going in there and letting basically the scene dictate how I'm going to shoot it. So uh, it's a bit more uh, loose, a little bit you know less uh, structured photography. But I really do enjoy it sometimes because it gives me a chance to do a little. Uh, recon as well as try some different shots that I wouldn't normally shoot as I was saying before you know being the jungle canopy so heavy around here that it, uh, a lot of times I end up shooting just smaller vignette pictures of the whole scene because uh, you know b being that it is so wide I mean there's just no way I can really capture it and really do a decent edit to make it look you know unless there's some serious light coming through that can you know separate the picture so for the most part today like I, I uh, basically focused on different, you know, smaller things. I uh, compressed my images quite a bit more, did things along that lines. I took, a, I took a few things, there was a water feature and some other things along that lines, but uh, but yeah, and, um, and also too, knowing what I know now, I would probably come at different times as well because I noticed just being here the, for the last four and a half hours that uh, just how the light just travels through that canopy and just, uh, you know, how it drops all over the different places. So that'd be another thing that I would just have to keep in mind that, uh, you know, just different times of the day would probably be more beneficial than others. And then another thing too is that, you know, I guess I really didn't realize how hot it really gets in here because I don't, you know, do a lot of this kind of photography. But uh, for all you older guys, make sure you hydrate, make sure that you're, you know, this isn't a, this is a young man's game sometimes, but, uh, but hey, uh, I'm there, so I'm, you know what am I gonna say? But anyways, what I'm trying to say there is that uh, make sure you bring a towel, make sure that you take care of yourself, make sure you bring extra water, make sure you hydrate yourself and stuff like that. All right, everyone, it's been great. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure, and please uh, give me a like, please subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and I could use some use all the support I could, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, peace out.